Hey, Ryan, let's just tell you that uh, Will Hobbs has joined us. He's head of equity strategy at Barclays. How are you, sir? Very well, thank you. Good to see you. And Helia has uh, rejoined us around the desk. Hello. Hello, Steve. Uh, can we get the Jay Sainsbury board up, please? Um, Caro and I were just basically saying, well, hang on a second, the numbers weren't great. But actually, if you'll recall, at the top of the last hour, Helia said they are less bad than many had expected as well. And that is why the shares are mildly higher this morning, 1.3% to the good. Helia. What do you think? Look, I, as, as we said, the, the decline is not as bad as investors feared. It's not a rosy picture. You had the chief executive in the statement for Q4 saying, look, it's a challenging environment. We have increased volumes, but that's because we've slashed prices. And we all know that the, uh, the retail environment in the UK is very, very difficult as, set, as supermarkets fight to hold on to margin in the face of the discounters. But... In the last couple of months, you've seen shares in all the supermarkets, including Sainsbury's, a on, 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 a, on a tear, because up 17%, compare that to the FTSE, up just over 7%. So if you have been a short position in Sainsbury's, you've been hurting a little bit yeah. uh, in recent months, but that's not to say that this supermarket is out of the woods. Will, what do you think? The food retailers is a terrible place to be at the moment. I mean, to be honest, we actually tried to hop in a little bit early uh, about six or eight months ago, uh, and that was just too early. The price was so hottened up since then. Uh, I mean, think back to a few years back when we had bids for the sector uh, and all that kind of opco propco idea. You yes. know, you must be wishing for those kind of prices now. In a world where you pay to own sovereign bonds in all kinds of strange places, um, they have a yield of circa 4%. Is that enough reason to buy Jay Sainsbury? Uh, it's interesting. I mean, I think within the sort of, you've seen uh, the dividend plays within the equity market have been really popular for the last few years. Um, the problem is that as yields on some of the safer asset classes go up, as they should do during this sort of latter phase of this recovery, then the relative attraction of those kind of stocks should wane. So really what you want uh, is not only a dividend, an absolute dividend story, but a dividend growth story to back it up. I think that's the really important thing at this stage. And isn't the story in food retail as well that, you know, Sainsbury's may be talking about food deflation, but hey, they're, up, they're quite well off compared with an oil company or a miner, which have massive deflation. So maybe the point and the recovery in the stock is things are bad, but they're not that bad. I think that's right. I mean, uh, you know, this everyone's so negative on this sector, aren't they? And, and as you talked about just in that bounce, that just shows how negative people are on this sector. And at some stage, as with yeah. markets tend to be, they get too negative. <laughs>